Hello everyone, my name is Anna and in this video today I'm gonna show you how to control your Arduino Mega with Ethernet Shield and Node MCU wirelessly straight from your smartphone and with no coding at all. So let's get started! So firstly you need to install the Blink app from your Google Play or App Store. You can find the link in the description to this video. So now I'm opening the app and I can log in with my Facebook account. And now we can create a new product. In this video I'm showing you my project with Arduino Mega, but of course you can choose any Arduino board you want. Connection time is going to be Ethernet. Let's name it somehow. And create project. Now I want to add one more device for my Node MCU. And connection time is going to be Wi-Fi. Now I have all my devices added to this project and I want to get my auth tokens to control them and I click on email all and now I'm gonna get two tokens for my Arduino Mega and for my Node MCU straight to my email which was connected with my Facebook account. Let's look for my tokens in my inbox and here they are, both of them. Link can control digital and analog pins directly without any coding. Now I'm going to create two buttons, one for my Arduino Mega, another one for my Node MCU. Place it nicely somewhere. This button is going to be Arduino Mega. D13 is a pin for the LED in Arduino Mega. And I'm selecting it. And now I'm going to add one more button for my Node MCU. And I'm selecting the device type of Node MCU. And D4 is the right pin for the LED in Node MCU. We are ready to run our project. We're getting that devices are offline, which is obvious. Now it's the time to flush your hardware with some basic Blink sketches. By the way, you can generate sketch for any Android device using the examples, and I'm gonna link them down below. Let's start with our Node MCU. Make sure you already have your Arduino IDE installed. Now you have to download the latest Blink library. As I said before, you can find all the links down below. And unzip it. You should open your Arduino IDE first. Go to Arduino Preferences. And now you can find your sketchbook location. This is the folder where we have to copy the folders from the Blink library. Now we have to upload this JSON to Arduino Preferences to work with Node MCU. Paste it right here to Additional Boards Manager URLs. You can find this URL in the description to this video, of course. Go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager, and look for Node MCU. Here it is. Select the latest version and click Install. Now we're ready to upload the sketch to our Node MCU. And for that I'm connecting it with my computer and now I can go to File, Examples, Blink, Boards Wi-Fi and look for Node MCU. And we've got the sketch for Node MCU opened. Now I have to put in my auth token which I got in my email. This is the token I got for the Node MCU and I'm pasting it right here. And now I have to put my network credentials, the name of the network and the password. Now I can save all the changes I've made by clicking verify button. Please make sure that you have the proper port listed and selected here. If you don't, most likely you don't have the necessary driver installed and it will be linked down below this video. Make sure you have the right board selected. For me it's Node MCU 1.0. And now we can upload the sketch. So now we have our Node MCU ready to use in the Blink app. Let's do the same with the Arduino Mega. Now I have to connect my Arduino Mega with my computer and connect Arduino Mega with my Wi-Fi router via Ethernet cable. I go to File, Examples, Blink, Getting Started and Blink Blink. 
I've got the new sketch opened and in this sketch I just have to put in my auth token which is the second token from my email verify it so now when our sketch is ready in the tools tab check that your board is Arduino Mega and our board is this one now we're ready to upload the sketch to the Arduino Mega. So when uploading is done, we are ready to do some magic. For that, we have to run our project in the Blink app and click on Arduino Mega LED. I will move you closer to make sure you can see that. It lights up and lights down. Lights up and lights down. Let's check how it works with the Node MCU. Blue LED lights up when I click on and lights down when I turn it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you wanna see any other tutorials about the Blink app and controlling your Arduino devices. Bye.